Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Special Halloween edition here, lab number 23 in the Mr. Circuit Lab Manual found on page 42. So, so let's, let's go. go. The ticking clock sound is our next circuit we're gonna be building. Let's hop over into Tinkercad and bring in all of the components we're gonna need. Now that we've got all our components into the Tinkercad software, we are going to now begin assembling them. Taking a look at the lab manual here, we see that we can start on the left-hand side and move our way to the right. The first things we're going to bring in are one of the speaker terminals, our negative battery lead, and our transistor. And those are all gonna line up in the far left side of our board. So let's go put those in. Once we've got those three components in, we can now start bringing in the resistors. Let's start with the 15K ohm resistor. That's going to align with the center of our Q1N transistor. And then we're gonna move that to the right a few spaces and place that back in the board for the terminal two of resistor one. Now we can look at resistor number two, which is a 100K ohm resistor. That's gonna go in line with the right leg of Q1. And then that's going to go slightly to the right of the transistor, just a few spaces, um, not as far right as the first resistor, but somewhere in between those two so that we can make another connection to our other R3 resistor. So now we can take our R3 and we're gonna connect that to the right terminal of R2 and then in line with the negative lead of the capacitor and our R1 terminal two. Next, it looks like we're going to add the positive lead of our battery snap in the same row as the left leg of Q2. So we gotta place Q2 first and then add the positive lead of the battery snap to the left leg of Q2. Now it looks like we can take a jump wire from the center leg of Q2 and jump that all the way over to the right leg of Q1. Next, I'm gonna finish the capacitor by placing the positive leg of the capacitor in the right, same row as the right leg of the transistor Q2, and then the other terminal of our speaker in that same row as well. And there we have our circuit. Now we can test this, make sure that it works. <laughs> Remember, under simulation is how you want to take your screenshots. So from here, I'm going to go to share, download this image, go into my Google Classroom, open the assignment for lab number 23, ticking clock sound, paste this into the Google Doc and submit for a grade. 
please make sure that you have this under simulation. And if you don't have it working, try to troubleshoot it a little bit before you submit it. It'll save you and me some time. Hope you enjoyed this video, our special Halloween edition of Mr. Circuit Lab Tinkercad Assembly Ticking Clock number 23. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, guys. We will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.